Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be testing out this material for orchids. This is Synthic, otherwise known as Fluffy String or your old chopped jumpers. I'm only joking. It's a synthetic medium that's in designed to replicate sphagnum in that it's got like a fibrous structure that absorbs water and it's extremely hydrophilic when wet. However, it seems to be like sphagnum, hydrophobic when dry, so it takes a little bit of wetting to actually get it wet, um, which kind of lends itself quite well to an orchid media because one of the properties about Lekka that I really dislike is that it's incredibly wicking, however you end up getting a dry top layer and then new roots touch that and it basically pulls the moisture out of the new root tips in my environment for very sensitive rooted orchids. So I've been trying to find a better alternative in organic media and I'll link you to the videos where I've been trialing other materials like rock wool and pumice on their own and in combination with Lekka to try and find a better alternative and in one of those videos one of the comments mentioned trying out Synthic and I'd originally seen this on Miss Orchid Girl's trial of it and I, I didn't really think it was a viable growing medium um, based on her results however after the person in this comments suggested that I try Synthic I went back and looked at her videos again and kind of thought that maybe I could get around some of the issues that she had by using it in a self-watering or semi-hydroponic setup because I think a lot of the issues that Synthic kind of has are to do with the fact that it doesn't wet very easily when it's dry but once it's wet it's much more wicking. So we're going to try it out. Here are two cups I prepared earlier. So in this cup here we've got pure synthic. I filled a reservoir up to here with water and this has been in there for three days now. The top is wet however to start with I put the synthic into water so the top layer stayed dry. I didn't pour water in, I put water up to kind of the reservoir level and put the synthic in and the top layer did stay dry. I then compressed it more and watered from the top and it stayed wet and has continued to wick so I think that it does need to be constantly moist to be able to wick because of that hydrophilic property that it has when it's wet but it does kind of repel water when it's dry which is a really interesting quality. They've kind of sphagnum moss does that as well to some extent. It's just maybe a little bit less of an extent than, than this material does. I then put it in combination with Lekka and pumice and you can see that the top layer here has stayed very moist and if we look at, you can kind of see the moistness of the pumice and the Lekka in there and you can see like, even that top bit there. Can you see the moisture up against the um, cup there? So it stayed nice and moist and obviously with this it's wicked much more efficiently because it's got other wicking materials in. The Synthic is just there to hold a bit more moisture and to increase that wicking efficiency. So this is kind of, I guess, my alternative to a organic mix where you would put maybe bark and moss and perlite. This is like my inorganic alternative mix. So I thought we'd try out both because I've tried these out, I've tested them, they seem fine. What I haven't done is test the pH, but I'm going to test that now with you guys. And then we are going to try it out with two orchids that I've got. Okay, so this has been soaking in tap water for two or three days. going to pour enough of the water out there and squeeze it out enough to be able to test the pH. I'm expecting this to have a fairly um, neutral to alkaline pH as a lot of inorganic media does have that. I'm going to leave that to settle for a bit. So the pH seems to be around 7.6. It's fluctuating a little bit. So if you bear in mind that the pH of my tap water is around that, I think it's about 7.3. Um, I would say that that's not really going to be a problem since I pH down in my media anyway. Okay, so I guess these are two mixes I prepared earlier. So now we're just going to arrange them with our orchids. So I picked two Miltoniopsis for this experiment. This 
This is my first Multoniopsis and this one is a rescue orchid that I featured in my kind of rescuing sick oncidiums video and I've mentioned a few times. Um, it started off just putting out one new growth, it pretty much did nothing for a year. It then put out another new growth and they've grown very rapidly so we're going to take a look at the root system, take off any old roots that I left attached to the um, orchid when I put it in. Sometimes I do that to stabilize it because at the point where they've got no roots it's really it's not going to do anything to have old roots still attached. Um, so we're going to take it out. It's been in here for quite a while so um, it's only obviously just started the new growth so hopefully we've got some new roots now considering how big they've got. Okay so this is going to be interesting because this is the first time I've actually looked and see to see what the roots are like. Okay, so I can see some healthy roots already coming down. It's been in a self-watering pot with sphagnum moss, as you can see. Um, these are all old dead roots. So at this stage, I'm probably going to take them all off because we've got new roots coming. Okay, so it's actually got re really reasonable roots already, even though it's not been very long since it put out these new growths, they can put out new roots extremely early on with Miltoniopsis. So once they can get that new root growth big enough, they really can recover quite quickly in the right setup. As you can see, this one's quite enjoyed. I mean, the sphagnum moss is not in the best state. It's um, obviously it's been kept constantly wet, which means it degrades faster. And it's been in this moss for about a year. So it needed a repot anyway, um, regardless of the, the root state. So I'm going to take, I think, all of these off because I left them on because Miltoniopsis roots and Oncidium roots in general can look extremely dodgy and still be alive and still branch. And quite honestly, I'm actually not very good at telling. Um, if they're obviously brown and squishy, I can tell. But quite often they don't go brown and squishy. They can, I mean, I would say all these were dead. They don't look too bad, do they? And I've done it before where I've cut off roots that I thought were dead that were actually alive for Oncidiums. So, yeah. Just gonna get some sterilized scissors now and take off. It's always really rewarding when you do your first repot on an orchid to see how it's done, I find. I find that much more exciting than getting a orchid in from the shop and um, looking at the root system because it's your work really, isn't it? So we're going to take off all these dodgy roots and I'm going to be very, very careful not to touch any of those beautiful, nice new roots that are emerged. So yeah, when I got this one, all of the roots were just dead. It was awful. It only cost me like five pounds or something, so I was expecting this. Sorry, I keep putting this off camera, but I'm just trying to be extremely careful because we've got lovely new roots. And if I snip even one of them, the orchid has spent a lot of energy trying to get these roots out. It's not gonna do well. And, uh, I'm very scared to go in with the scissors so close to these new roots, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to pull the old velumen off because that's the bit that decomposes the most. The um, actual inner root in there will still decompose. However, it's not going to be quite the same as the very thick layers of velumen. Um, it's not going to have quite the same effect on the media, so I'm just... I don't want to... If I accidentally pull, uh, cut off one of these new roots, I will... I will feel guilty all day. It will ruin my day. Um, and it will definitely ruin the orchid's day because it's worked very hard to get these roots down. So I'm not actually going to spritz this with hydrogen peroxide at all. I really don't need to. Um, I did it when I got it. Any snails by now would have made themselves very evident because look at these. I mean, this is like a buffet for snails, all of these beautiful root tips. So take off the outer sheath. 
So I think this one's gonna go into the pure synthic mix. I think I may put a little bit of pumice through the synthic mix and probably lecker in the reservoir. Um, just to provide a little bit more aeration because I'm a little bit nervous about it. So I've chosen these pots. Um, I just got these from Sainsbury's, uh, which is a local supermarket, reduced. Um, they are actually like storage containers. This cork container lid goes in there and you can keep like biscuits and stuff in, but they are perfect for what I want and they're only like a pound each because they were clearance. So they're also ceramic, so I'll keep the root zone a little bit cooler. And yeah, I think that'll be perfect for this just popped the orchid down and I'm actually going to use the synthic that we've uh, prepared earlier. I'm going to put a bottom layer of Lekka. And what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I'm putting some synthic down into the reservoir because as I said it um, doesn't wet very easily. So we want some of this basically always wet so that it'll always wick the water efficiently. That's what that looks like. Just gonna put a little bit of pumice through. going to show you an individual strand of this and we can see how much water it holds it's holding a lot of water in there okay and now we are going to get our orchid and I've chosen these containers because we can see what's going on with the root zone as the orchid grows it's going to a stake in. Okay, so I've got all the Miltoniopsis roots gently in the pot there. I'm just going to fill around it a little bit more pumice and some synthic on the top. Okay, so that is the mix. We've got the orchid roots in. Do we put a top layer of something on? That is the question. I think for this one we are not going to because we want to see what its properties are like. So I'm just going to fill it up to about here with water. Okay and that one is done. And for the next Multoniopsis I'm going to be using a mixture of the um, bit more of a heavy mixture using the mixed materials there. So less synthetic, um, more kind of pumice and lacquer. Got my Miltoniopsis. Okay, so those are my Miltoniopsis orchids all potted up into synthic or synthic mixes. Uh, so if I just start you off by showing you the roots to start with. So that is the synthic heavy mix with a bit of pumice and a little bit of lacquer in the bottom there. And that is the rescue Miltoniopsis with two new growths. And this is the more kind of standard orchid mix with some synthic in there to kind of replicate maybe moss. Um, so we've got the pumice top layer and we'll see if that helps with keeping the synthic moist and whether the synthic helps with keeping the pumice moist. Uh, so we will see. So we're gonna leave them alone and see how they do for a few weeks and then I will come back to you guys with an update. They've got new growths, so the roots are in active growth. So in theory, this should be a very, very good time for them to adapt to new media. So really, we should have results within a few weeks. 
So it's been one week since I put these guys into the Synthic mixes and I was just editing the video and thought that it would be really nice to tag on a little one week initial thoughts update into this video um, because then I can give you kind of my initial thoughts and then we can do an update on my thoughts once I've trialled it a little bit more. So if we look at the one in pure Synthic because that's the one I've noticed the most dramatic results on just within a week actually. So initially top of the synthic has stayed nicely moist now it's not soaking wet it's just nicely nicely moist to touch and you can see in there a little root growing so that one is kind of going into the synthic there was another one they left kind of on the top on this other new growth which is this one here and that has gone down into the synthic without any problems there see it kind of going in and then inside we can have a look there's this root is curling into the synthic there and uh, this one you can see how it's grown it's actually I think branched there as well continuing to grow root tips there and you can see how it's growing kind of around the media which shows you the kind of growth progress since it's been in so it's curved around that synthic there and then gone down it's just by that little bit of pumice there and this one's just by the pumice this one's sort of tunneling its way into the synthic so yeah already we've got some really nice root growth um, it just seems to really enjoy the synthic and I've not noticed any mold issues or anything obviously it's quite early it's only been a week um, yeah, it's my kind of thoughts after a week. The Synthic mix has stayed nice and moist at the top with no issues at all. So I'm really happy with that. I'm really kind of getting a bit in love with this media actually. I really like it. So we'll see how this goes longer term. I might be switching a few more orchids over uh, if this goes well. You never know. So thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm doing a lot of videos like this to kind of start series off um, but hopefully I'll get more exciting as I kind of do more and more updates and give this video a like if you did enjoy it or subscribe to my channel for more regular orchid updates like this and I will see you again soon. Bye!